Is Jungle Cruise Disney's next Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, or is it closer to Haunted Mansion? I'd say it's a poor man's version of Brendan Fraser's The Mummy. Let's talk about it. Dwayne Johnson's back with his 875th film to date. I'm being a little overboard, he's only done about 825. Joining him is the always lovely Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt plays Lily, a spunky, headstrong adventurer who absolutely hates puns. She has a brother in this name, McGregor, who also joins along. He's kind of a wimpy, fancy boy who overpacks and underdelivers when it comes to helping out. Dwayne Johnson's character is named Frank. He's the skipper of a riverboat who takes tourists down a very dangerous jungle river. It's full of snakes, hippos, weird looking dolphins, piranhas, and some pretty bad CG here and there. When Lily steals an artifact that is said to reveal the tears of the moon, that's the storyline here, she and her brother have to embark on a wild adventure with Frank as they outrun the German army that's after them and try to uncover the mysteries of the jungle. It is gonna be hard to outrun them too as they have a submarine. I don't know what the logistics are of getting a submarine in this thing, let alone keeping it in one piece after all the different types of things they have to traverse through. Running rapids, jagged rocks, shallow waters. I, I don't know how this thing stays intact. It's, it's quite incredible, it's quite a feat. It's quite implausible. It should go without saying that Lily and Frank do not get along. They butt heads a lot. She punches him several times in the face. It really does remind me of another film property which I already said, The Mummy. This is a carbon copy. You know, The Mummy is inspired by Indiana Jones. There's tons of movies of this nature, so I'm not necessarily knocking it, but this one does feel very similar in its approach. Since it's been a very long time though, since I've seen a family-friendly film that I actually enjoyed watching and, and seemed to not take itself serious in the slightest, this was fun for me. This was fun for the whole family. The pros are it's a whimsical swashbuckling adventure. There's lots of action. There's lots of exciting set pieces. It looks pretty nice. There's occasionally some bad CG going on, especially towards the end when there's tree branches flying this way and that and people are swinging from them. It's not Shia level bad. It's not Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull bad by any means. So don't, don't think that. The plot is straightforward enough too. You can get lost pretty easily because so much is going on at any given time. But for the most part, they found an artifact, they have to go to a said place, use the artifact, reveal the secrets inside, yada yada yada. It's a tad over two hours, and if there's anything you could ever say I'm consistent on, it's my runtime issues. I think this is a little too lengthy. I would, I would have trimmed this down 15 to 20 minutes. You have a really good experience then. As it stands, this is fine. This is a fun, easy film to watch. It's not insulting, it's, it's good natured. It's gonna get you through the day. Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt have surprisingly really good chemistry, I thought. The guy that plays the villain, he's really good. I, I can never remember his name. He's in Breaking Bad, he's in Fargo season two. I'll look it up for you really quick and report back. I looked back, it's Jesse Plemons. I always referred to him as Meth Damon when I saw him because in Breaking Bad, he's a, he's a meth dealer and he looks like kind of a, like a pudgier version of Matt Damon. I'm not gonna keep you here any longer than I have to. It's not insulting like Haunted Mansion. It doesn't hit the peaks of the mummy. It's, it's kind of in the middle there. I'm gonna give Disney's Jungle Cruise 19 out of 24 Dwayne Johnson rocks. Is this score pointless? Absolutely. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stick around. I do a show called Movie Feuds on this channel and towards the end of the week, I'm gonna be doing Jungle Cruise versus Pirates of the Caribbean. They're both rides, they're both decent films. We're gonna talk about them. We're gonna pit them head to head. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Wow, what a video. I hope you had some fun. If so, again, feel free to subscribe or like the video or comment or you know what, do all three, that'd be even better. If you really like what I'm doing and you maybe have subscribed for a while, think about supporting the channel at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or right here on YouTube via the join button. There, there's some stuff there. It's, it's pretty wild.